middle school students have been bused to. And the public school system there, the district, has said West school students must be picked up. Those are the only ones that have to be picked up. High school students and elementary school students can still stay in class today. And families or guardians uh, have to be the ones to pick them up. You can't that's carpool right. everybody from the neighborhood right. home uh, there. So again, that's the high school. This happened at West Middle School. Brittany Lewis is there. Jump in here, Brittany. What have you seen or learned? Yes, yeah, Scott, well, you know, Brenna, obviously, they're at the high school where they have sent the children on buses, but there are still many parents who are coming here to the middle school where all of this happened. Uh, one of those parents is, is here with me now, Joe Guzman. You actually live just across the street from here. Right. First of all, so sorry that this happened. You have a stepson uh, that goes to school here. Tell me how you found out about this shooting. Uh, well, uh my stepson has a cousin that goes there as well. She heard the shots ring out. She texted her mother, who lives in a neighborhood near near us, and she actually texted my wife, and then she, my wife called me at work. And what was it like for you to pull into your neighborhood and see that this was happening here? Well, it was definitely shocking. Uh, I wasn't prepared to see the entire road uh, uh, blocked off. Um, I had to tell the cop that I lived in the neighborhood right across the street from the school for him to let me by. Um, you don't want any kind of regulations around your home uh, due to something like this. And so when you're coming home and it's there, you get this sort of veil, mm -hmm. you know, taken off of your eyes. And we talked about this a little bit before, but we talked about the fact you're from the Columbine generation. Unfortunately, there have been many school shootings, but what is it like to have this happen across the street from your house at a school where your stepson goes? Uh, I mean, it does bring it home. I mean, I, I I try to talk to the kids a lot about it, so it's not um, so shocking to them. You you really do have to try to explain to them that there are children now that have access to guns, and just as us adults have to kind of live in that reality, they have to too. And it is it's not. I don't know if it's healthy or not, but it's just reality. And you've been in communication with your wife. She's at the high school. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, she. Uh, when she got news that they were going to evacuate the kids to the high school, she got right in the car and went uh, there. And it's just she's just waiting to hear more news. They're um, trying to get head counts. Um, our her daughter's there. Uh, she's in lockdown and she's very panicked. They're in constant communication with the cell phones as well. So that helped. her daughter goes to the, the high, high school. school. Yeah, and they're that they're locked down there. Too. And what have you been able to hear from your stepson, or at least your wife, be able to hear from him? Well, he seemed he he was scared. Uh, uh, he's confused. He doesn't. He wasn't sure why they had to leave the school and go to the high school when we lived right across the street. He just wanted to come home. Um, I think normalcy is what they're looking for. Um, I think it adds to the confusion to bust him someplace else. But I I understand there's protocols. Yeah. Um, but he seems just ready to come home. It, um, he's sort of shook up, but he seems to know that it, it at least feel it's an isolated incident. Mm -hmm. Did he? Do you know if he was able to share? what he heard, what he saw. Yeah, well, he said that he heard a bang, um, but muffled. I mean, he wasn't sure. It was more about the chaos afterwards. And, and did they have to run out of the school, or did he talk about the, the no, after? No, he waited for the evacuation, okay. yeah. Yes, okay. he was in lockdown. Joe, thank you for talking with us. I'm so happy to hear that he's okay, and hopefully he can get home soon. Yeah, we're hoping. Yeah, yeah, yeah take you. care. And, and in terms